Hi everyone and welcome back. Right, so I'm going to have a look inside my pencil case today and see what uh, drawing materials I use on a day-to-day -day basis. So this is my pencil case. Um, it's made by BUBM. I know how you read that first of all, so did I. <laughs> um, but it's not what you think, it's BUBM, um, which stands for Be Unique, Be Myself. It says that underneath, so okay and as you can see the company just love their logos They're on everything um, but this isn't actually a pencil case it's actually an electronics organizer um, you know for keeping um, sort of SD cards flash drives USB cables you can even keep a mini iPad in here if you want to uh, it used to be my youngest son's he bought it for all his cables and things um, and he found that it was too small for him and he didn't want this anymore and he wanted to buy the bigger one instead so he could keep more stuff in there and um, I had a quick look at this and thought that would actually make a really nice pencil case so I gave him the money for um, the larger one that he wanted and he gave me this one so it was a win-win situation so I ended up with a really nice pencil case wasn't even looking for one at the time as it happened but uh, yeah it just came my way like that so let's open it up and let's let's take a look inside it's got two zipped compartments on it you get quite a bit of stuff in there we'll start with this side first okay um, you've got this sort of elasticated sort of retaining system here with these mesh pockets which are also elasticated on the tops so I'm not going to get all the pencils out and everything I'm just going to quickly um, just tell you what I've got in here um, because I've just done a mechanical pencils video I'll put a link to that in the description below um, and I'll just quickly just tell you what these are so that's the Graph Gear 1000 um, Koinor 0.5 I think that's the Mephisto model I'm not even sure if that's still made anymore um, another Pentel Graph Gear 500 um, and I've got four Pentel P200s there that's the full set um, 0.9, 0.7, 0.3 and 0.5 they're all in different um, degrees of hardness of lead so I'm pretty well covered there with um, lead size and lead hardness so um, yeah uh, now these two I will get out because I didn't show these on the last mechanical pencil video because well basically I didn't have them um, people were writing in saying have you tried these um, the Pentel Arends. Um, I hadn't tried them before. I'd seen them before and I saw that there were very, very fine leads in there. You can get them down to 0.2, which is the finest that I've ever seen. But I thought it can't be such a big difference, you know, the 0.2 compared to the 0.3. I'm quite happy with using my 0.3. I can get some really fine detail with that. So I never really bothered um, buying one of these. But I thought, okay, I'll, I'll just try one, just so I can say I've got a 0.2mm lead and just, you know, see if it does actually make a difference. So I ordered one um, online and the company sent this one out, which is a 0.5. I actually ordered the 0.2 um, and I contacted them and said, um, you know, you'd sent me the 0.5 instead of the 0.2. And uh, they said, okay, that, no worries, you can keep that free of charge. And... Um, We'll send you a 0.2 out so that's how i've got two of them but it was only really obviously the 0.2 that i was interested in um, so we'll talk about this one it's um it's got a very funny kind of one click and the lead sleeve and the lead all comes out in one go it's quite a, a funny design actually because you don't need to keep clicking to get more lead out you only need to have like one mil of lead um, just sticking out and what happens is you think well that's going to wear down very quick as I'm drawing with it but it doesn't what happens is as you're drawing with it the lead sleeve slowly retracts but the length of the lead actually stays the same it's quite a funny mechanism in there I don't know exactly how it works but it, it just does um, so that's genius really um, and also because there's only one mil of lead sticking out you don't actually get any lead breakages which is going to be inevitable with it a 0.2 mil lead so that's kind of reduced the risk of, of lead breakages now I have used this a few times 
and as with all Pentel pencils you know they're fantastic quality um, and, and just lovely items to use but the 0.2 can be very very sharp and scratchy on the paper um, you've got to really go at it with a light pressure when you're using these or you will almost cut the paper because you know the, the lead is that fine it's very sharp so but anyway they're two new additions to the collection I say collection I'm not a collector um, these are all sort of used um, on a day-to-day -day basis I've got um, some woodless graphite in there um, Koinor Progresso if you get these make sure you don't get the water soluble ones make sure you get the regular graphite um, because they don't work so well so the regular graphite is much better for graphite powder um, Stedler pencil holder in here um, I think I've shown that in a couple of other videos as well it's very nice it's got a retractable eraser there screw down sleeve that covers it pocket clip lead indicator um, they're really rare features to get on a pencil holder um, but these aren't cheap I must admit this was a bit of an impulse buy but uh, it's a very nice uh, item to have I'll link all of the um, equipment in the description below with product links for you Amazon affiliate links um, oh, I didn't realize this was in here this is a little um, craft knife it's by Swan and Morton they actually make scalpels for the medical industry and a few years ago they well, I don't know if it was a few years ago several years ago it might have been ages ago I'm not sure but a while ago anyway they invented this little craft blade handle to fit their scalpel blades so what you see in there is actually a medical grade um, scalpel blade in the end there you just kind of flick that off put a new one on I've got a packet of replacements for them um, and you click the handle back down to halfway you hear it click and it kind of locks in and you can use that safely now without the blade popping off um, probably the sharpest knife I've ever ever owned I mean you only have to just touch that and you'll get cut I mean just look at it the wrong way and you'll get cut it's so sharp incredible so that's in there um, it's a selection of um, paper blenders, blending stumps, tortillons and things like that in there and then I've got my Koinor Versatil 5347 which has got the 5.6 I believe or is it 5.3? 5.6 I think um, lead in there which is very nice to use wouldn't be without that, highly recommend those as well, fantastic pencils um, onto this side got the Derwent battery eraser, the Derwent pen eraser, the Derwent pencil eraser um, I should say Derwent eraser pen actually or it sounds like it's for erasing ink doesn't it it's the Derwent eraser pen I'll get that the right way around um, there's a Pentel click eraser in there there's two Tombow mono um, erasers in there the rectangular one and the 2.3 one which is very fine um, and there's the Koinor um, pencil eraser in there which I've talked about in other videos from my good friend Linica Line that recommended those to me absolutely fantastic they are and I've got a, a little zipped pocket just here which I keep my um, pen knife in for scraping the graphite powder and also a soft art eraser by Derwent that's my kneadable eraser it's actually blue tack <laughs> um, but I just keep it in a little bit of baking paper or um, that wax paper just to stop it from pushing through the mesh in these pockets and making a mess everywhere and picking up dust and everything so that's that just put that there and I've got quite a few um, leads in here for the pencils there's some replacement erasers there for the battery eraser, uh, eraser and the eraser shield which I hardly ever use so I've got a few pencil leads there various sizes and hardnesses um, they're the pencil Einstein and these are the pencil 
super high polymer LEDs. Um, these were the original ones, these are sort of a, a newer version of them. Um, and these are claimed to be exactly the same as these, but they don't break quite so much. Um, I think that's pretty fair to say that's just about right. Um, for some, some reason in some of the grades of LEDs, I'm finding that the, the older ones, the super high polymer, just seem to be a little bit darker, a little bit smoother. Um, but again, you know, it's personal choice, isn't it? What you like. There's also some... What are they? Oh yeah, rotoring LEDs in there and some Faber-Castell LEDs in there as well. Um, so I'll keep all those there. It's good to have a, you know, a good selection of LEDs for your mechanical pencils. Let's put all this back. As you can see, I mean, it holds quite a lot of stuff, you know, this pencil case. It's not um, you know, lacking on space or anything. And the, uh, the little Swiss Army knife there is actually a really nice item because um, it's got a little um, cross thread screwdriver on there. That's great for undoing the screw on your um, pencil sharpener blades to replace the blades. It's also got a, a flathead screwdriver in there, a little pair of scissors. It's even got, when I can find it, there we go. I don't know if you can see that, but it, just there, when you slide that along, it's a little ballpoint pen with black ink. So you can do a few line drawings with that. Oh, can't get it back in now, there we go. There's some other little useful tools on that as well for um, your artwork. So I highly recommend those as well. Set that back up. Okay, in this section, as you can see, I've got some cotton swabs in there for blending, um, some cotton balls for blending, some kitchen paper for blending, um, my little set squares in there as well. Um, I don't know why I keep this in here, I don't use it regularly enough actually, but I keep it in there because I know where it is. Um, this is just the, the Derwent um, graphite sticks. I mean there if I need a nice chunky piece of graphite so I just tend to keep them in here and I uh, know where they are okay so right onto the wood case pencils then let's, let's get them all out I'm not even sure what I've got in here so this will be good to go through them again okay I've got some Stadler Norris there. A little set of those. Um, a couple of other Stadlers there. There's a Stadler Tradition in HB and Stadler Lumograph, Mars Lumograph in uh, HB. And let's try and get, get them in order. Got some Derwints there as well. Love those pencils, the Derwent graphic. You'll probably notice as well, the ones I'm using are the very old ones with the thin orange band which runs around the case equally whereas the newer ones, um, that's probably a bad example, what have I got? There we go. The band is a lot thicker. This isn't actually one of the Derwent um, graphic pencils, this is one of the sketching pencils but the sketching pencils are exactly the same apart from that's orange. And it kind of runs round, sort of offset, whereas these are straight. So these are the old ones, and I've got um, boxes of these, got a big stash of those, so I tend to just use those all the time. Quite a few of the Derwents there. There's a few um, Derwent Academies as well. They're the kind of student version, or claim to be the student version, but they are very nice pencils actually. I Quite enjoy using those. Um, oh, there's another Derwent in there and a pencil holder. It's actually a Derwent pencil holder as well. You, you get two in a pack. One takes the regular size pencils, the other one takes larger uh, wood case pencils. 
and some Derwent sketching pencils here. I just mentioned these earlier. That's a Derwent sketching pencil as well in there. Uh, they're very nice to use as well. They're a larger diameter than the, the standard um, Derwent graphic range. I think these are a 4mm lead in there with a round wood casing. Very comfortable. I prefer the round wood casing actually. It's, it's a lot easier on the fingers. So do like using those. Oh dear, the Ticonderoga. Um, I don't really use that anymore for shading or anything, but I just use it for just very simple line drawing or a little bit of sketchbooking. Um, I'm just getting too much grit in those to be able to use them as a you know serious art pencil, so kind of demoted that at the minute. From one extreme to the other, we've got the, the Tombow Mono 100 here in 2B. Very dark, smooth pencil, very nice quality. A little bit pricey, but very nice. Um, I think there's another, yeah, there's another one here. This is the Tombow Mono J. Not quite as high quality as the Mono 100, but um, this is a very old one actually. It's not got the barcoding on it, so it's quite old. But this is in 4B. Um, Tombow pencils are very nice, as are the erasers. Right, the Derwin Tonics. I can hear your cursing now. <laughs> Um, dark and medium. Um, it does say on the packet that the dark is darker than a 9B. Um, I haven't found that at all. I haven't found it to be anywhere near a, as dark as a 9B. Um, I mean, 2B is probably as dark as I can actually get with it. But nonetheless, if you forget what it says on the packet, um, they are lovely smooth pencils again they've got a round wood casing with a, a nice thick 4mm um, graphite in there the, virtually well they are identical actually to the Derwent sketching pencils um, apart from these are called onyx and they have a different coloured band on the top compared to the uh, sketching pencils but I just treat those as sort of 2B um, sketching pencils I don't consider them 9B super dark pencils at all maybe I've just got a bad batch I don't know but I've seen other people online um, say the same thing you know you they can't get 9b with them um, you know which is fair enough because you can't you really can't so um, two Conte graphite pencils there they're okay oh, oh dear <laughs> okay I forgot this was in there Okay, I was just thinking of, can I edit this video and kind of slip this one out without anybody noticing, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do it, am I? Um, okay, well, I better, <laughs> I better just explain myself, because um, if I've built up the slightest reputation um, of knowing a little bit about pencils, I'm just about to lose all that right now when I show you this. But maybe I can talk my way out of this. <laughs> well, hopefully I can anyway. Um, yeah, okay. The Koinor Sudoku pencil. That's what it is. Now, I bought this quite a while ago, okay. You'll probably notice that there's a pencil on one end and an eraser on the other. Now, I mentioned earlier the, um, the Koinor pencil eraser there, which is without doubt my most favourite pencil eraser ever. It's just the most efficient, it just works fantastically. Um, now when Lenico recommended these to me, um, I bought three of them. And after using one for a short while, I just thought these are fantastic. I'm gonna buy a small stash of these just in case they go out of production or they get hard to get hold of or something. So I went back to the original seller and um, to, you know, to buy a large quantity of them and he wasn't selling them anymore so I tried to find them um, on eBay I couldn't find them I looked on Amazon I couldn't find them so I thought okay I'll do a Google search see if there's any shops selling them um, so I typed in Koinor pencil eraser and these came up because obviously it's a pencil and it's eraser so um, the search results picked these up for me and I thought if that white rubber compound in the end there is exactly the same as this one, these will be a bargain because um, 
He bought them in a set of six and they were very cheap, not expensive at all. I can't remember exactly how much they were. It was last year sometime that I bought these. Um, and they claim to have a 2B lead on there, um, which I can tell you now it isn't. It's more like a very hard HB or an H. Yeah, we'll call it an H. It's more like that, really. Um, and I thought, if that works, they'll actually be a fantastic sketching pencil. Um, you know, because you can be drawing away with one end, you can just flip the pencil over just to erase for small detail. Um, it'll keep you in the flow of drawing a lot better than, you know, to keep picking things up and putting things down. So I thought, I'm going to take a chance on these and, you know, see if that's the same. And I can tell you now, it absolutely is the same rubber compound as these. So, hopefully I've redeemed myself there. I bet you're all rushing out to buy some now, aren't you? <laughs> Probably not, I don't know. But that's the reason why I bought some of these. But since then I've found um, a few other sellers um, which are starting to stock these now and sell them at a reasonable price. So I've, I have stocked up and that's why I've not really used that too much. Um, purely because the graphite is a little bit hard, to be honest. But apart from that, they're quite an interesting pencil, really. I don't play Sudoku or anything, but, you know, forget what it says on there. It's, it's quite, quite a useful little thing really so yeah that's why I've got that um, now a few other things that I'll just, just put these back on top a few other things that um, I guess I could fit in here but I, I don't I keep them in pencil tins on my desk just at the side of me um, are these the um, Stedler Mars Lumograph and the Stedler Mars Lumograph Black I've made videos about these in the past as well, so uh, I'll try and put links below for these. Basically, they're a carbon mix pencil, carbon and graphite, and these in here are mostly all graphite, apart from the 6B and the 7B, which are a carbon mix as well. But I think since so since Stedler has bought the Mars Lumograph Blackout, the Mars Lumograph uh, Regular, or Mars Lumograph 100, um, no longer have the carbon mix pencils in the 6B and the 7B. Sorry, the 7B and the 8B. Um, I think we've done away with them in that set now because obviously that has kind of replaced it. So I think if you do get a newer set of these with a different pattern on the lid, I think you'll just get regular graphite there with the 7 and 8B. Um, maybe someone can confirm that for me in the comments section. I can't guarantee that but I think that's what they've done but these are lovely pencils to use and these kind of stay on my desk at the side of me all the time if I was going out sketching or, or taking this on holiday or something I'd certainly take these with me and put them in here and my pencil sharpener as well the m &R pencil sharpener that's always um, on my desk and the ruler on the dust brush and that's it so that's really my everyday drawing supplies so there you go you've had a little nosy through my pencil case hope that was helpful and enjoyable to you probably wasn't was it um, but anyway there we go so thanks very much for viewing take care everybody and i'll see you next time bye for now